everybody, today I'll be showing you how to make almost any 2D game in under 5 minutes. From platformer, to pong, to a top down game, and much more. So let's just get right into it. So what you want to do is go to google.com, so where I am now, and we're going to do slash doodles. And this will show all the Google Doodles in all of history. So for example, today's is UAE National Day. But you're not interested in that now. We're going to search up Atari. And it's going to bring up Gerald Jerry Lawson's 82nd birthday. And that was December 1st. So basically this guy, Jerry, he was one of the guys who created the first video game console and many video games. So that's why he's so important. So let's just click on start. And as you can see, we get this game. But we actually want to make the game. So click on the home page. Now I've already made some games, so I'm going to scroll down. And now I'm going to click on the plus. It tells me I'm in edit mode. And the first thing I'm going to do is place down a player. So there are a couple different themes. This is the default one. There's 16 bit, there's butterflies, there's ice cream, there's spooky. But I like 16 bit the most, so I'm going to choose that. Let's just add some basic ground. So down here and here too. And I'm going to show you the different types of ground. So this one you can break. This one you can push. And this one is just fire. So let's just click on play. So as you can see, when I jump with space, I can go on this, but if I jump again and run under it, I break it. And here's the fire, I'll die to it if I touch it, so I can push this block to jump over. And yeah, now, when we jump over this fire, we want it to be saved, so we're going to add a checkpoint. And what this will basically do is if we die again after hitting this checkpoint, it will spawn us here. And yeah, so we're going to add some more ground, and then let's add some coins. Now a feature here is that if you grab all the coins, then the game is gonna end. So let's just add a coin here, which we will not get, so the game doesn't end when testing. And there's also a power up. And finally, we have the gold flag, but that's only for later, so break. Get the power up, jump over the fire, get the checkpoint, and we're at the end now. So, the next category I'm going to show you is the enemy. So, we've got this enemy, it just stands there, so we jump on it. We've got this enemy, it's a horizontal enemy, so this one is like the most common type of enemy you see in games, and it's kind of like the most useful. Now we're going to add another enemy, this one's going to be harder. So it's basically the same, but instead of horizontal, it's vertical. Then we've got a diagonal one, which is pretty hard to use. And we've also got this unique enemy, I haven't really seen much of it. Kind of reminds me of that one robot in Metroid Doom, if you know what I'm talking about. So this enemy... What it will do is it will basically chase you around the map. And finally we have this one where it just shoots lasers. So let's try it out. Okay. This enemy is chasing me. Okay, I got him down, I got him down. Get the checkpoint. And oh, because I got that coin over there, that happened. So let's make sure to not do that again. So get the checkpoint again, hit him, oh, we're going to dodge him, and, oh, okay, okay, we did it. So now, maybe what you want to do is give them some collectibles, some keys, some portals, and that's the next category. So for example, I'll give a key here, and then through a lock door, I'll give them a coin like that and we can also add a portal so for example 
if I go over here, I can portal all the way back to the start of the level. And also, we can add a spring so we can jump over here. And yeah, that's the end of that one. So let's test this one out. Oh my. Oh, okay. I did not want to do. Okay, see? So we portaled all the way over here. And we got the key. So we're going to get the coin. And. Oh. Okay, so now we're going to jump up here. And that's really cool. Let's go back to the editing room. And now we've got all these special blocks that are connected with the switch. So here is the switch. And then we've got switch block on. And we've got switch block off. And we've also got kind of like a fallen block where it's like an elevator. You'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm going to get into the portal. And here you can see. When I'm on the switch, it goes up. When I'm not on it, it falls. And also, these blocks are changing. And you might be thinking, well, it's not that useful because, you know, you can't change it if you're not on it. Well, you could use this moving block for that. And yeah, that's it. The rest are pretty self explanatory. This is the eraser, you can erase stuff with it. And let's just see how it looks like when the theme is different. So here it is with the first theme. Third theme. Oh, oh this one actually looks pretty really nice. This one. And this one. Okay, and this is the undo button. And yeah, let's make the next game. So we're going to click on the plus again. And this time, we're going to make a block breaker game. So. Here in player, we're going to choose horizontal paddle. Let's just put it over here. Then we're going to put something around here. So, like that. Put some more. And we're going to test it out to see. Okay, looks pretty good so far. And again, we have the different themes. So, for this one, I think actually. The butterfly's theme looks pretty good. So let's place some more. We're going to do that. Let's see? Okay. Now we're going to block it off so our ball doesn't go anywhere. And to make the actual blocks which we can break, we'll use the breakable block. So let's put them up here. Like that, and then I think we should just do like this pattern across. And finally, to get the ball, we're going to use bouncing ball, which in this case is a butterfly. So, as you can see, I have my paddle, and I can hit the blocks, and they disappear. And over here, it shows how many blocks we still have to break. And yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's move on to the next game. We'll click on the plus again. This time we're going to make a top-down game. So instead of platform player or a paddle, we're going to choose top-down player and place it over here. Now, again with the themes, for this one I actually think default is pretty nice. It gives off that old energy. And for the scrolling to actually work, there needs to be like some off-screen blocks. So we're going to place some blocks around this guy. Like that, let's give him some coins. Now in the actual games that Ghoul did, they used the spooky theme, which looks pretty nice, but I'm going to stick with default. Now we can go through here, there should be an open area. And as you can see, now that we've gone through all of the stuff, it's pretty self-explanatory how to actually make a game. And it's really, really easy. So, for example, I'll add a vertical enemy here. One here too. And as you can see... Okay, we did it! But we don't want it to end there, so 
the plants go all the way here let's see okay so it's basically there so we're going to get out our gold flag and let's put it over here now we're going to have to make some level making so let's test it out again go through here oh wow okay no no okay maybe we made it too hard that's all part of the level creation process don't worry if it doesn't work on the first try that's natural we're going to try that again like that and we've got a more open space so that should work so we're going to wait run so as you can see i can go like this like that it's all pretty nice and we can close it off again you can add any enemies you like so for example i will add this diagonal enemy since we are closed off right now and i can also add this enemy so let's just add it to the goal and all the way back now this is pretty basic but of course you can make it better and so as you can see the diagonal enemy has some good functionality now but the laser just destroyed it so okay we're at the end and yeah so now what i want to show you is how to save your games so here at home we're going to for example we have this game selected right now you're going to click on this and you can get the link the link will be copied you can share it on facebook you can share it on twitter and you also have the link you can share it to all your friends and stuff and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like subscribe and hit the notification bell